what up youtube it's your boy anime specialist so this episode was really good man from beginning to end uh, the action the storyline it was really good so let's get right to it first of all mira jane can transform into one of the demons from the book of Zeraph. Uh, this demon was in the tartarus arc she was part of the tartarus uh, dark guild so that's quite interesting and from what i i remember this uh demon could uh give orders to whoever she wanted and uh the person that was given the order uh, had to obey so this is quite an interesting power that uh, mira has obtained I already know that mira can absorb other demon and make it her own uh, power so i'm wondering what her other uh powers that she absorbed during uh, the one year time skip because I, I know that she's become uh, really, really powerful, you know. Uh, she was once, as a kid, one of the most powerful uh, members of the guild. So I'm wondering how powerful she is now. But man, this scene with Brandish and Lucy in the bathtub was crazy, man. We know that in last week's episode, uh, Brandish was waiting for Lucy in her bathtub. And now we know why. Brandish was basically saying that Lucy looked like someone that she once knew. So uh that was interesting and she said after that that uh the name of uh lucy's uh, mother layla i think is her name so um brandish knew uh, lucy's mother so that is an interesting uh storyline that we'll have to wait for but yeah man uh brandish was uh, interesting from the beginning so we'll have to see man but now let's get to the good stuff man so uh agile one of the spriggan 12 versus erza the reason why erza wasn't able to uh, transform and to equip into another armor is because uh, one of brandish uh, soldiers the one that was uh crushed by lucy's feet uh was wasn't letting them uh use uh transportation magic so uh, that's the reason why Erza wasn't able to transform so when uh, he was knocked out uh, she was able to transform into another um, suit and the reason why she was able to hit Agile is because she had a special sword I think it's a sea sword and I really like her new uh, armor it's her new armor I think I haven't seen this one uh, before I really like the design and everything so it looks pretty cool Erza was still struggling though, obviously it's because she's fighting one of the Spriggan 12, the, the Spriggan 12 are the most powerful enemies that they ever encountered, you know, so there's nothing to be embarrassed about, and uh, yeah man, she had to be helped by a uh, Biska with uh, the Jupiter, but uh, Erza, I think she's uh, probably on the level of some of the Spriggan 12, you know, so uh, we'll have to see more of her uh, in this war. But anyway, the art was amazing as always. The only thing that I didn't like in this episode was uh, the animation. There wasn't a lot of animation. There was more of a standstill images of them fighting. So I really didn't like that. But hopefully it will get better. We also saw Natsu and Gadget fighting some of the fathers. So it was pretty easy for them. They weren't even going full power because they know that there's a lot of enemies. So... Uh, I'm hyped to when they'll go full power because we haven't seen them since the one year, year's time skip uh, going full power, you know. So uh, the closest thing that we saw from Natsu, I think, was when he came back uh, to uh, the Dragon Festival in uh, the kingdom where um, Lucy was. But uh, before, uh, since then, uh, we haven't seen him we really fight uh, seriously, you know. Erza doesn't seem to be on the level of the Spriggan 12 uh, quite yet, but we know that uh, she'll have a boost uh, later in uh, the arc. We know that she's become way stronger than she was uh, uh, in the one year time skip. So uh, we'll have to see, man. I'm hyped for what's coming next in the Fairy Tale final season. Uh, I haven't watched the preview yet, so I can't really talk about it, but uh, yeah, man. Let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below. I do fairy tale reviews every Saturday, so subscribe for that. And I do other anime related things like Boruto Naruto Next Generation when it's out of filler and when it catch up to the manga. And I do Black Clover reviews on Tuesday. I do uh, the Promise Neverland reviews on Thursday. 
and i do um sword art online and one piece reviews on saturday so stay tuned for that uh, my next video will be one piece there's a big episode about uh, uh one piece uh, today so stay tuned for that it will be the biggest episode uh, in one piece uh, in a while so yeah man thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video anime specialist out peace